During the winters of our childhood, my brother and I relished heavy snowfalls. We loved the snow not only for the traditional winter pastimes like tobogganing and snowball fights. but because of the creations we could build with it. The snow was a slab of flawless marble overlaying the landscape. And we were two grinning, snow-suited Michelangelos, itching to shape it to our whim. Snowmen we built, taller than we could reach, once, we rolled a snowball until it was so big, our combined weight could no longer budge it. What we loved to build best, though, were snow forts. Our method for constructing a fort was simple. We would shovel snow into a little mound in the center of our yard. Then, when the mound was large enough, my brother would take a scoop out of one side to serve as a door, As he was smaller and better suited to cramped spaces than I was, he would begin to carve out a habitable cavern on the inside. I remained outside, adding fresh snow as well as debris from the excavation to the top of the pile. Thus our little igloo would grow, and as the years went by each winter's fort grew more impressive than the last. At first they were cozy, large enough only for the two of us to curl. The one we were most proud of, however, was sufficiently spacious for us to stand up in, a vaulting cathedral by our standards. Although our parents fretted that our forts may collapse, we were astonished by their sturdiness. Indeed, several resisted our valiant attempts to demolish them. Inside, they were warm, comfortable, and silent because the snowy walls trapped the warmth of our breath and muffled all noise from outside. We spent countless hours inside those cotton domes, adding shelves, windows, skylights, and any other furnishings we could carve into the snow. Those forts were our space. Every aspect, every feature of them, we shaped ourselves. To me, those childhood snow forts are doubly meaningful, both symbolically and as objects that taught me something. From those forts, I learned the value of teamwork and cooperation. On a few occasions, differences in vision led my brother and me to construct our own forts independently of and in competition with each other. The small, half-finished fruits of these mitoses were invariably inferior to the forts we built together, the ones we could sit comfortably in when they were done, as brothers and best friends basking in our shared achievement. Also, the snow fort represents a connection I gained to Canada. I was a toddler when my parents and I moved here from South Africa. My brother was born a few months after our arrival. The two of us were too young to understand. Those early years were a stressful time. Our parents were feeling isolated, trying to find work and raise two young children while navigating the bureaucratic complexities of the citizenship application process. That the two of us were able to so joyfully embrace and enjoy the snow, something so emblematic of Canada, is symbolic of our adaptation to our welcoming new home. <laughs>